So I'm just going to go right now and open this project view in order to uh, get to the colors.xml file and I'm going to open this values folder and just over there as you can see we have this colors.xml file this is the file that we want to open so I'm just going to double click on it and then I can close this project view and as you can see we have three color variables right here and uh, we have also a preview on the left side so as you can see these are the colors that uh, they represent and in order to declare a color variable you have to just uh, give a specific value and this value as you can see is just a hash code and uh, otherwise if you don't want to specify the hash code you can just go on this preview and uh, you can just uh, drag over here and select the color that you want and then you can click on choose I'm not gonna use this tool I'm just gonna go and uh, type in some hash codes right here you can also find hash codes online and uh, I'm just going to use my own hash codes for this uh, application. just found a couple of colors that would be working. So this uh, hash code is uh, just the one that you can see right here. And it gives me this uh, purple color. And then for the primary dark color, I'm just going to use a different tone of this uh, um, purple color. So I'm going to have 7B1 and then FA2. And as you can see, this code gives me uh, this specific color that we can see the preview on the left side. And, and that's so the color accent, which I'm just going to use F7 for three times. And that gives me a quite white color. It's just hard to be seen right now. It's not pure white. I'm not using pure uh, colors um, because it doesn't really look that well on the screen. Um, but now all, it all depends on how you want uh, to uh, have your colors. And now I'm going to declare a new color variable. I'm going to call it color secondary. So uh, I'm going to end this uh, opening tag right now. And so I'm going to type in um, another hash code. It's going to be D7, uh, 3Cs, and D8. And as you can see right now we have this uh, preview is just a gray color and those are the colors that we're going to be using in our application now you can just go and reference them inside this activity underscore main dot xml file so I'm going to open it and uh, I can switch back to um, my device that was uh, this Nexus 5X I usually want to test on this one because my emulator is also Nexus 5X and so I can see the preview right here now I just want to make sure that I set up everything correctly so I'm gonna go first of all and set up the background for um, all my application and in order to set up the background you just have to go inside this table layout and uh, set up the background for it and so in order to do this we're just gonna go right here and say background and then um, I'm just gonna specify add color and if you don't see a list of colors appearing, then you can just go and uh, you can uh, use Control Space. So that's the shortcut, and it works for both uh, Mac and Windows devices. So Control Space, and you can have this uh, set of colors right here. And it also gives you a preview of the colors. And for the background, I'm going to use this color primary. So right now you can see that my application has this uh, uh, background, as you can see. Okay, and we're going to zoom out right now. So we're going to go and change a couple more things. We're going to change uh, also, let's say, this um, for this one. Uh, or just for the title, instead of having it uh, just black, we're going to have uh, the white color for it. So I'm going to go inside this uh, text view and I'm going to specify the text color to be uh, from the color uh, variables. I'm going to use uh, one of those, so I'm going to type in add um, color and then I'm going to use this color accent so that you can see right now it is just uh, a bit different. It has now this uh, white color and I'm going to go further on and change right now this uh, my word that uh, is basically the word that's uh, displayed on the screen, so the word that the user has to guess and uh, we're gonna have also that white color for it so I'm gonna go and type in text color and then add color and then I'm gonna use this color accent okay so we have that right now and also I want to make sure that I specify uh, for this row that contains uh, 
my word I just want to specify a different color for the background so that's why I'm going right here and in the background attribute I'm specifying um, this color primary dark uh, color as you can see it's different from color primary it's just a bit uh, different and so as you can see it is just uh, changed right now so I'm gonna zoom in so that you can see how it looks okay and the next thing that we need to do is to customize this uh, input field so I'm gonna go right here and uh, the text color is just gonna be um, right now I'm gonna use the color secondary which as you can see right now it's uh, basically just a grayish color and I'm gonna use it so as you can see uh, right now nothing changed and that is because um, this is the hint that you can see on the screen not the text now if we change the hint color then you will see uh, basically um, that the hint will change so we have this uh, Android colon text color hint and that's the one we want to change right now to color secondary okay so I'm gonna reference that and right now it's just changed as you can see right here and also the text that you type in is gonna be for from the same color and uh, at this moment I just wanna go uh, to the next one so I'm gonna go to the letter stride and just right here we we're gonna go and uh, set up the background for this uh, row so I'm gonna type in add color and then color primary dark so that it has uh, this color right now as you can see right here and also I want to specify its um, text color to be the white color and uh, for that I'm just gonna first of all click on this letter stride and it will take me to the tag that contains this uh, text view for the letter stride and right here I'm gonna specify the text color to be um, a color variable and I'm gonna use this color accent and so I have it right now set up correctly and uh, I'm just gonna go for this uh, X's that represent just uh, the number of tries that are left and I'm gonna specify the text color to be also white and we're gonna have this color accent and then as we have most of the things set up we're just gonna go for this uh, reset button and so at this moment we want the reset button uh, to have sort of a different uh, background and I'm gonna just go right here and specify the background for this uh, button to be uh, basically a bit different so I'm gonna specify background and then color I'm gonna use uh, the color secondary and so as you can see it was changed a bit not too much though and then the text on it is gonna be for uh, from a different color variable and so I'm gonna go and uh, for the text color I'm gonna specify just the color secondary which is uh, or just the primary dark actually because uh, that would be looking much better so as you can see at this moment that's uh, how it looks right now we still need to brush our application up a bit more because we have this uh, title displayed two times and uh, also this reset button has to be expanded a bit more and so I'm gonna make those changes later on.